This is the Reverend Schnorr. You may be seated. Thank you for joining us here. The holiest of times is getting closer and closer all the time, and we got a great show for you tonight. We're going to tell you how to alienate your rocker friends. Three simple steps. But before we get to that, I got a little something, something here, like we start everything. To read to you, it gets you thinking. You will know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Even so, every good tree bears good fruit, and a bad tree bears bad fruit. Why don't you think about that? It will enlighten you, more or less. I got my rock and roll hat on here because we're going to teach you how to alienate your rocker friends. But speaking of aliens, I got something first. Check this out. Former Israeli space security chief says extraterrestrials exist, and Trump knows about it. it. Is an Israeli space security chief says there are aliens out there, and President Trump knows about it. Now let's be honest. I don't get into politics. Nothing. This is not pro or anti Donald Trump. But if Donald Trump knows about it, we would all know about it. You know, it's kind of just a Twitter thing. But this guy says, hey, aliens exist, and you know, I'm sure there's lots of secrets the president's keeping. Could you imagine if the last few years is when these aliens started looking at us, started watching us closely? You know, nobody's getting along with anybody. We're throwing bricks at each other. We're wearing masks. We're not wearing masks. We're getting sick. We're lighting things on fire tsunamis and earthquakes and i mean just everything is going wrong all over the world it's not just in america either everything just it's been a crazy crazy bad time to be watching it was like a bad episode of shameless you know what it'd be like you know those aliens are probably like would be if megan markle watched the crown like all right i'm grabbing what i came here for i'm getting the hell out of here just, you know you, just, you don't stick around that kind of uh Bad behavior, this uh, what do you call it? Uh, dysfunction. You don't. You grab, you grab the prince, his seed, his baby, and you go. Now, fear not, fellow friends, because this guy claims that there is an agreement between the United States government and the aliens. They signed a contract and uh, with us, and they're going to do experiments here. And the United States government has signed contracts before. Lots of times, there's only one thing that really scares me about this. This time, we're the natives. And you know how it worked out for them. Not so good. Hopefully, you know, the aliens can come peacefully live with us and we get the better of them. Usually, it happens when you enter into a contract with the United States government. The United States government wins. But like I said, this time, we're the natives. It's a little scary. But, but, this is all going to make sense real soon, okay? Why would, a, why would an Israeli security chief come out and say there are aliens out there, the President of the United States knows about it, and they're going to conduct experiments and leave it at that? You know why? He's got a book to sell. If you want to know more about these aliens, the Shed's ideas are spelled out in more detail in The Universe Beyond the Horizon, Conversations with Professor Halma Shad by Hagar Yanni. I thought he was a musician, Yanni. I don't know. And it'll be out in November. So there you go. It's kind of like those uh, young TikTok girls we talked about last week. It seems like a big, major deal, and it turns out, eh, it's just marketing in a book. All right. Well, that's the beginning of things for now. Uh, let's see what Brother Carlito's got on tap for us and bring him in. See what's what. Hey, Brother Carlito, how you doing? Very good, my friend. I'm uh, drinking a little uh, sweet tea with a little uh, whiskey in there. God bless. I got you. Got me the uh, Advent calendar of beer. Okay. I'm on day number two. And what are you drinking tonight? This is O'Shea's session in the Pale Ale. I have. After I worked a little whiskey a little bit, I went with a little Belgium waffle white tide. 
Oh, Belgian waffles are good. White tides uh, can be good as long as you don't wash your way. So we're going to, you know what? I'll do a little taste right now. I'm live on the air. Yeah, India pale ales are good. And now you got me thinking about whiskey. You got me thinking about aliens. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm telling you, you it's about time. President ever- Trump's going to tell us. Really? Well, he's going to tell us after he's out of office. He ain't going to tell us now. Okay. Things are, um, things are- we still have to buy Christmas gifts? Yeah, I don't think it's nothing. Well, I don't know, I guess. I would definitely get them, especially mine, just in case. I would head on over to Maroon Fishing in case you still got to get Christmas gifts for 15% off. Use the discount code Black Flag and get them before all the aliens get them. Oh, boy. Right, because you know those aliens. They're going to come in and grab everything. So we got a crazy show for you. It's just lots of stuff happening in the news. Yeah, what else? I mean, we're we're talking baseball. We're talking first dates. We're talking funnels. We're talking women having to go to the washroom. We are talking something right up your alley. Gender reveals. Oh, yeah, that didn't go so good. For a lot of people. <laughs> and not only me, huh? I am telling you. Sorry yeah. about the wildfires. You know what? Let's recap real quick. Yeah. Uh, the Reverend handled a gender reveal request i believe i think i wasn't there for this uh particular show did i have trouble? Off that weekend i was off i took paid vacation so uh let's uh recap shall we all right god bless you you guys ready for this all right do you know what you what do you think it is boy or girl all right we're gonna find out you ready all right here we go my later got a little gender bomb now we got a little gender bomb. Gender bombs come in all shapes, sizes, wicks, attitudes. Just a couple of colors, though, because you don't know if the gender got wrong until the kid grows up enough to tell you, hey, wrong, wrong one, Dad. It's also, you got to think things out. Now, you already have a kid. Well, I don't know how many kids you have, but I, and, and generally, I. generally speaking in the story I'm about to tell you, they already have a kid. It's very visual. You're going to see it yourself. Okay. If you know your kid's a little bit of a brat, right? I don't care what good of a parent you are. You know if your kid's a pain in the ass, right? Absolutely. And if you're going to wrap around your whole second child gender reveal around your current kid. Who's probably going to be jealous anyhow. Right. Uh, I would think it through. How are we going to do this? What if something goes bad? What if we have a temper tantrum? What if I need to straighten some shit out and open up a can of whoop ass on my kid? What if? Already we could tell. I have a feeling. Someone's not happy. Oh, ooh, ooh! That's a big balloon. Oh, you little, oh, up, 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 up. <laughs> and that's how that went. This poor newborn is gonna wind up going to the gender gender neutral <laughs> toilet for the rest of this he she its life. Oh no! <laughs> we didn't know you were gonna be. There you go. <laughs> you are just. That's how that happens, I guess. You know. You're a mother already. <laughs> right. You know, what do you do? You tied a balloon around the wrist. No matter how pissed off you get, exactly. you still got the balloon. Not only that, but it's a big, it's a big scary balloon. I would be afraid to poke it if I was I height with it. It's going to make a big pop. Like I said, Rev, think things through. This poor newborn is going to be gender neutral. We'll see if that balloon lands over the rainbow or not. Huh? Mm. Let's talk baseball, shall we? And first dates. Okay. You go to a first date, you got to impress a girl, right? Yep. Let's take it back to the teenagers. We'll say young adults. Movie theaters. Mini golf. Driving range. Walks in the park. 
the girl you're probably taking on a date, you know, right away within five seconds, if she's a bubbles or not, or if she's athletic, she knows the sport of baseball, or she has any idea of what baseball cages are. When you go to the baseball cages to hit balls, what happens if you miss the first ball, Rev? What comes next? Another ball. And? And another ball. Right. See, you and I are on the same page. Obviously, boyfriends should possibly tell the new girl that you're taking on a date what happens in a batting cage. (laughs) Woo! Oh, Oh, crap. (laughs) What did you say? Get up. Put the helmet back on. (laughs) One more time in case anybody missed it. Honey, honey, put the helmet on. Why? I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was low and inside. Yep, 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 yep. So uh two places you don't fall down and stay down. Banning cages and an orgy for the same reason. It's ball after ball after ball after ball. They just, just keep gonna, coming. Just gonna sit here and eat my beer nuts. I'm just saying. I, at least that's what I've heard. And every time they'll smack you in the jaw. All right, Christmas gifts. Let's talk Christmas gifts. Oh, yeah, I got one, too, when you're done. Really? Yeah, I forgot. Go ahead. All right. These are sold at Target. No. Okay. Walmart. I want you to take a look. Okay. They come in assorted colors. Purple. Pink, orange. They retail originally for twenty five thirty seven. Okay. Now on sale, nine ninety nine. That's a good deal. I don't even know what they are. Let me show you. Have we gotten to this point in our lives? Oh, I've always, you know, it's one of the things I like about being a guy is you can pee wherever. And now they can too, huh? Yeah, you could change your oil too with the funnel when you're done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Honey, give me some 10WD40. I had two packs of beer or, or two cans of beer. When I'm done, I'll change it up. Give me an oil filter. <laughs> Look at that. And I just want to say, now they know you don't need much. You just need enough to relieve yourself. It's, it looks like it works pretty good. It looks like it works great. I have a hard time believing it works that good. I mean, they they look like they're used to it already. Yeah, that lady, I think she's done that before. You think that Jenner uses one? (laughs) Or she just says, no, no, it's it's just the attachment. (laughs) Right. Well, it's kind of like you were born with one. Now you got rid of it, and then you're going to go spend 10 bucks to get a new one. You could have just stayed the way you were. And to round out. What's on tap tonight? Let's talk birthdays. We're a little okay. late on this, but look who turned oh. 94. She hasn't aged a day. No. Look at that. Yeah, her eyes got smaller, but her mouth got wider. Yeah. She, she, looks- she, she's a, she was a cute baby. She's a cute old lady. Yes, yeah, she is. Reminds me of everybody's aunt. And that, Rev, is what's on tap with Brother Carlito. I love it. Gerber Baby is 94. And the original food is still good if you didn't open the jar yet. Mm. I forgot about, I got a couple of things to show you. One thing is, you know, a lot of people, if you get on the internet, people like to fight. They oh. argue about politics. They argue about anything. You don't even, you don't realize the level of the average person's stupidity until you read the comments underneath a news story. Any news story. Could be, hey, old lady makes it across the street without getting hit by a car. And some jagoff is going to have 18,000 things to say about that. So they invented a hat now that you can wear when you decide you want to get on uh, the Internet to argue. You just put that on there. Oh. Full of shit, huh? Yep. You put on your turd hat and get at it. Tell everybody what what your dumbass opinion is. 
Now, a lot of people hanging out in the congregation today. They all oh, came yeah, to let's church. say hi before we get to alienating your rocker friends. Let's say hi to see who's here. We've got a ton of them. Oh. Ray's in the house, David, Joe, Skyler, Becky. Oh, let's see. Is Vincey, Lydia, Lydia uh, Toe, Sammy. We shipped overseas, so she should be getting her uh, her gift. Yeah, I'm a little late on my shipping, so people should be getting them uh, soon. Rev, Jeff, no, I'm Rev. Who am I looking at? Rick, Rick, Rich, Jeff. Mike we got a, we Rick. we got an anniversary in the house. Oh yeah, I forgot. Tom and Anna, right? Yes. Happy anniversary. God bless you. Hold on. I'm gonna... Hang on. Hang on. It's not a fish. There you go. May the Lord bless you and uh, may, may he bless you with another 69 years. God bless you. What what a great year. I know what, uh, you know, like the first year is paper. I'm a little worried. I'm a little afraid to ask what is the 69th, what you get for 69 years. Hopefully they still go to yoga class. Right. Yeah. Because 50 is gold and 75 is diamond. 69. Anyhow, happy anniversary to them. Speaking of uh, streams. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Maybe Ron needs one of those things. Here. Oh. Get your stream going with that. One of you guys. That'll help straighten out anybody's stream, it looks like. Yeah, look at that. She used to have to crouch in the woods. Now she can stand right out in the open like us. There you go. The one at the top looks like she's going down the Grand Canyon. You think there's some hitchhiker going on and going, what the hell? Yeah, I think from, from far away, you think, wow, look at that hot blonde chick. Wow, is she look? And then you get up closer and you see her standing there taking a leak. <laughs> oh, maybe I need glasses. I don't what know. about... A great Christmas gift would have been the Squatty Potty and the uh, Pea Cup. Yeah. <coughs> no no excuses. No excuses for full bladders. No. In wet no, seats. Be able to go, go wherever, whenever now. It's, you, it's the 21st century. You think about COVID, and you think about all the ass explosions. Pardon my French, but you're the one that brought the shitty hat to the show. And I'm not talking about the one on your head. I'm talking about the picture. Think about in the old days the toilet seat covers that had the fur on them. <laughs> I hate those. Nothing makes a toilet seat fall more than fur on the back. You sit down, it's like, oh, there's someone on your back, and then God forbid you had too much of the uh, cranberry sauce with the turkey. And what Wait. are you supposed to do? Uh, you got any spot remover? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's, I peeled out a little here, and uh, yeah, you're like looking around like for a towel. What do you do? You wrap a towel. You kind of go in the bottom of the cabinets and look at all their drugs they got there to see if they got any like backup, like other ones, like kind of like you're changing uh, pillowcases, right? Yeah, or we would say renews it or uh, oh carpet yeah. fresh, yeah, <laughs> for the back of the toilet. Yeah. Hey, but I didn't like it because you stand up and you put the, the seat up, but you got all that thick fur on the back. And so and you, let me tell you something. Once you get that going, there's no right. pinching that off. And partway through, it goes, well, boom, and it falls right over because the thick fur on the back of the toilet. And, and then, then it's like all over it. It's like water and grass. Right. Now you got to get the hair dryer out. You're like, out. oh, hey, Auntie Sophie, can I borrow that Bissell? <laughs> oh, exactly. Now, do we have any rock and roll fans here? I believe so. I'm guessing we got a few. What's this? Like the devil, right? So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. rock and roll, rock and roll. No, 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 don't point, don't point the maloik at me. Jesus, is that what that is? No, for Italian. Stop that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I you gonna have, you're going to have me flip my car? <laughs> Put those down. 
This is a hang loose. Stop. Product. Are they going up or down? God bless. We'll say a quick hail Mary, and you should be fine. <laughs> Don't go out watching football this Sunday. Stay away from the vodka. But I thought that was a Metallica thing. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Hang on. Let me let me take care of myself before you finish your story. Hold that thought. Yeah. I don't know. He's got to get a snaggle tooth and put it on or something. <laughs> Make sure he's... <laughs> I thought that was a rock and roll thing. I didn't know it was some kind of Italian. All right, go ahead. Okay, you're safe now. All right. Well, uh, I'll, I'll read what everybody's saying later. So, rock and roll, Hoochie Coo. Uh, these guys, there's Metallica. Yeah. Right? They're all tatted up. They're angry, angry rock people. Guess who is doing a cover? Of their songs, a whole album of Metallica songs. The Who? <laughs> no way. Hannah Montana. Well, not really Hannah Montana. She Neil Diamond warned her, girl, you'll be a woman soon, and she is there. Now she got boobs. Yeah. And a new haircut. And she is going to do an entire album of Motley. Not Motley Crue. Metallica. Well, that probably comes next. A Metallica songs. Her next album is a whole cover song of Metallica. You know what sucks about that the most? What's that? Is she doesn't. She's actually pretty good. Mm. She did. Uh, I knew I was going to forget the name of the song. She has, that, really, she has that voice, that raspy voice. Yeah. Is nothing really matters or nothing matters at all. No, so close, no matter how far. Look it up on YouTube. She played at the Gastonbury's festivals, and uh, it is really good. Guess who else also covered that same song? Who? Oh, wait, no way. Shakira, Shakira. And that's a picture from Paris. As she's singing that uh, Metallica song. So, you know, the, you, you have the first part of the song, obviously, where it's so close, no matter how far. Is that the song you're talking about? I think so. Why? No, nothing really matters that, you know. Right. So and that's a good acapella part of the song. Right. So do so does Miley get into the rocking part of it, too? Yes, Miley has got a great band behind her, and they rock. I mean, with the you know, it sounds like Metallica would, but uh, you know, they're not Metallica, but they're rocking it. And Miley Cyrus can sing it real good. She kind of sounds a little like she should blow her nose, but otherwise, she sounds really good. It she usually comes in like a wrecking ball, right? Just when you thought her tongue was the best part of her, turns out she's got a voice too. Then Shakira's version is very Shakira. It's, it's very Latin at the beginning. Got a little, uh, it's like a ukulele almost. It's very Latin feel and slow, like you said, acapella. Like. And that's why she's got her flowers out and that beautiful gown and stuff. And she gets into it. They're both really good. I was going to pick my guess. nose right there and you put it, put me back on. Oh, right? sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pick away. Uh I'll look at Shakira, Shakira the rest of the show if you want. I'm done. You know, you get, do you have a list of celebrities that you would want to be with? Sh I, Shakira's they, not Shakira's not on the list. I'm not going to lie, and neither do her hips. But we should do a whole show where we just finish lyrics of. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Numero uno. Speaking. Mijo. Speaking of ukulele, someone bought a ukulele. Really? Yeah. Oh, he's going to have to come out and play for us. Maybe he can play under Sandman. Uh, I'll show you. Uh, we've been talking about this Christmas show, right? Right. I also went and dug out and tuned. Yeah, I don't know where he went. Go ahead, bring me back. Oh, hold on. Here we go. Hang on. Here we go. Well. 
There we go. Ahem. <clears throat> I don't want to give it away, but we're working on it. If I can't get this down straight, Rev, we're going to just bust out the recorder. Okay. It's funny because I was practicing myself. I was going to play something for the Christmas special. I feel like it's like the talent show. Nobody could go to talent shows this year. Right. We should do it. Anyone got a weird talent? Like, can you play a flute with your nose or something? It would be fun. Yeah, we need, let's see, we need a, uh, I want a recorder. Oh, I want a uh, harmonica. I want a cowbell. I want the kid's xylophone from Fisher Price with all the colors. Anything you want? I want to hear you play all of those. Careful all at once. Careful what you wish for. No, I'm ready. It's going to be good. Rev, the set's looking good, too. Hey, thanks. I turned on some lights. Brother Toll, I am going to be in touch about that. Absolutely. Thanks. I turned on some lights. I got, uh, you know, the Reverend Schnorr t-shirts are available at maroonfishingcompany.com, and they got some others. Like, uh, well, I'm blocking it. There's one right behind me called... Straight out of the tavern. That's a good know. one. Trust me, it's behind me. You know, just don't don't take my word for it. Go to their website and check it out. You know, they're they're uh, still offering a great great deals for you, Rev. Well, what kind of offers are they offering? Uh, lately, I believe they're still holding out this fifteen percent off using a discount called Black Flag. Right. Mm-hmm. And all right. Uh, hang on. And I think, as always, there's a 10% uh, rev head, but, you know, the 15 is going to be better now. But when that goes away, don't forget about the 10% rev hey, bring head. Bring me back. Here you go. What oh, is? hold on. Here he comes. All it is. Hang on. I got to get. Do, 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 do. Where it is to go. I'll take it off. There you go. There it is. Found it. Hey, straight out of the tavern. That's where I've been. That's where I want to be, actually. Something about Christmas lights and a nice tavern. All the warm feeling in the cold winter time. I miss it. We need to do a shot, Rev. Oh, I was watching some YouTube videos. Yeah? I don't remember this. I, I do, but I, I haven't watched it in detail. Reminds me. Just take a look. Could you believe this was actually, you look at all the, what we go through now, I can't believe this was on the air. Hashtag me too. Can Hard you put it on TV anymore? Hard to believe that was Jimmy. Oh, that's right. Back when he didn't cry every time he went on TV. Yeah. He was much heavier then too. Yeah, well, because he was he was happier then. Mm. Now he gets on TV, he's all skinny and weak, and he cries all the time. I'd cry too if see what marriage does to you? Exactly. Marriage will make you uh, malnourished and very sad. Remember that. But the wedding is a lot of fun. So for 100 bucks, call me up. We'll do the wedding. And then you're on your own for a little while. It's a nice diet program. And like most diets, it should be over in about 30, 45 days. And if this is directed to us, Nick, we are trying to stay out of trouble. We can't get, uh, we can't get out of our basements. So we built studios. Right. Uh, I was staying out of trouble, sadly. 
uh, all the fun stuff has stopped. Yeah. Oh, what's our pee shot today? Are we doing it you, for the Gerber baby? You can't go baby? out and make out with strangers anymore. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Pee shot. Uh, I, I'm going to do my pee shot to Miley Cyrus. Hmm. Wait a second. Hang on. He talks about two women in the show today. Shakira and Miley Cyrus. We all know how he feels about Shakira. And he's doing a pee shot to Miley Cyrus. May God send the lightning boat now. I have a shot for Shakira too, but that's more of a private thing for later. Nothing you want to be a part of. You got it. I'm just going to have my nuts. Oh, speaking of my list, I, have, I should read you my list sometime. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we got off track. No, that's all right. Shakira, Shakira is number one on my list. Number two on my list used to be Lindsay Lohan, but she's dropped down. Obvious reasons. She's even below bubble standards? She could come up, but, you know, as time ticks away. Only for air? Chances are, you know. Some people have been around the block, and some people have been dragged around the block, and I get a feeling she's been dragged around the block a few times. Not that that's not fun, but at some point, it's like, what's the point? Do you even know I'm here? Anyhow, number one uh, is Shakira, but number two is Amy Adams, and she's got a movie out that's supposed to be really good about hillbillies. So I'm thinking, hey, there might be a shot there. I was there chewing, you go. I was chewing my nuts. You said she has a movie coming out about hillbillies. Yes. What I said, where's that damn interpreter when you need him? What I said is I said you're pretty much an A-list with that group. C. Don't ASL interpreter. Uh, yeah. Oh, everybody. Glenn Close is in it. It's like every... Oscar winning lady from 1982 till now. Hang on, hang on. I got to interrupt. Another good point by the congregation because they pay attention. Shakira. Yeah. Stevie Nicks. Yeah. And you are now with Miley Cyrus. Yeah. So you're trumping the other two. Oh, well, no. We talked about the other two before and we did a. We did a piece shot to Stevie Nicks already. It's a little bit of an imaginary open relationship, people. It was very open until I can convince all three of them to enter into a four relationship that's closed, just the four of us. And then we will do the show from Utah. Gladly, happily from Utah. Because the biggest problem that people in Utah have is how do you afford all them wives and kids? Shakira, Stevie Nicks, and Miley Cyrus, you don't have to worry about that. I just, you know, I just am there to make everybody happy. Would you bring bubbles? Uh, no. Would you bring sand to the beach? No. No. There's no need. Why? 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 Who's going to look after the bar, Rev? <sighs> That's At what I'm that saying. Point, you got to leave back bubbles. Right, exactly. Yes, yeah. Someone's got to watch the shop, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, we should ask. Brother Carlito actually told me last week, hey, get on early and ask people a question. It'll get them talking when we come on. And that lasted, that, that, that lasted one question. week. That lasted last week. And I forgot this week. So your question for next week I'm giving you guys homework. Your question for next week, week is come up with your list. Who's your list of your top five or ten people? Ladies, I want to hear from you too. And email them to me. And we'll if you don't want to be identified, say don't say who this is, but these are my people, you know. Maybe it's Rosie O'Donnell and Oprah. Who am I to judge? Here's what so, we could do. 
Don't email. You could DM the Rev on Facebook because a lot of compliments comments are coming from Facebook. So even stay better, out of the email. Hit him in the DM. It's like write, write me a letter. Yeah, lick a stamp too. Make sure it's right. a Christmas stamp. Oh, I, oh, I gotta tell you a story. So I was, um, I was, I, I was uh, dropping off. Where do we? Who do we ship to in Ireland? Lydia. Lydia. Right. Is Lydia here today? I didn't see her. Anyways, I haven't seen her either. Most expensive, most expensive uh, package I've ever shipped to Lydia. And I'm waiting in line at the post office. Great ladies there, right? This poor right. lady had... She's not over there, is she? No. Do, no. This no, poor lady, it. this uh, uh, desk agent, right? The You know, the uh, checkout. Little old lady in front of me could barely see over the desk. Okay. Okay. She has so her Christmas... a little taller than you. A little taller. Got... Her gotta gotta rest my soul. I don't know how she saw over the steering wheel. So now the post office lady is helping the little old lady. All right, right. Mail. It might be the only time of the year this lady goes to the post office because she probably buys the book of a hundred stamps and it lasts her the whole year. But then she has to mail the cards. This is the little old cute lady at Jewel or Walgreens. Or Woolworths that goes and hand picks all fifty Christmas cards for each of her friends, family, and grandkids. Right. Right. Now it just won't take the little stamp with the wreath because everyone's a different price. Because she may boost the envelope, but she still probably sends cash. I am just seeing, telling you what I'm visually imagining from looking at this lady. Right. It is a storybook lady. The Gerber, the Gerber grandma. Okay. Miss Gerber Grandma, she probably got a little one of those pull it behind your carts for her groceries to walk down the sidewalk. With. So every, every, this is how it looked. You ready? I'm going to, here we go. Okay. Yes. Hi. Hi. Hi, Dolores. Yes. This one goes out to my cousin Faye. She lives in Scottsdale. 62 cents. Okay. Send it normal. This one, I have to make sure it gets here. This is my cousin, Ralph. He hunts elk in Alaska. 72 cents? Okay. This one is my Aunt Betty, and the poor lady's going, okay, okay. Now, literally, the stack is this high. Oh. This high on the desk. Now, the agent has printed out individual printouts of each stamp. Oh. The poor lady goes to pay. The credit card is expired. She doesn't know how to put the chip in. Oh, the lady no. comes out from around the corner, tries to put the chip in for her, thinking it's not going in right. Now, this lady printed up all the personalized stamps for each of these envelopes. All I have is Lydia's package that's prepaid from our peeps at Nick and Bella. All right. I got to do is hand it in. But now the ladies are good at the post office. They'll just take the package because it's prepaid. But the register now is locked because all these stamps are printed out. So now I'm sitting going, <laughs> my fault. It's about 445. Now it's a pain in the ass to me because I can't just come back tomorrow because that prepaid is marked for today's date. So now I have to. You know, these are the troubles that people don't understand that goes through and putting on the show. Right. This is not an easy thing to do. So you know what I did? Kicked her. I paid her stamp bill. Come on, how much? It was like 30 bucks. That's why you're going to heaven, Brother Kelly. -O. Thank you. Stuff like that right there. I, I, I was starting to get a little aggravated. like, And I'm like, you know what? It's not, the poor lady waited all year to do this. And, right. and I didn't want to say, how much is it? Because you got to stay six feet apart. So I didn't want to speak loud thinking that I was yelling, but I wanted to make sure because sometimes certain people are hard of hearing. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> so it, it, it's, it's a double negative. You, it, there's a, there's a lose, lose. There's not a, you know, there's no win here. Right. Anyways, hopefully the package went out. 
And uh, so I mean, you got to think: what if that's your grandma and she's saying, "That's that's what I did." It's five dollars for Christmas, and she can't because her credit card is old. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing you did. Thanks, buddy. God uh, bless you. I changed. Fuck Miley Cyrus. Tonight's P shots for you. No, no, it can't be. Absolutely. Let's do it to the little old lady who worked all year on getting those Christmas cards. Okay, we'll do it to the little old lady and her Christmas cards. All right. And all to right. P cups me, for the let women. Add a little. Let me add a little. Hang on. Okay. You know what I love about this time of year? That your you pants buy, just... a, buy a bottle of liquor? Mm hmm All of a sudden, the same price as normally, but it comes with two glasses now. Oh, the gift sets. Yeah, when I keep them. All right. To Brother Carlito, his little old lady, and her savings for her Christmas cards in the post office. Please. Salute. God bless. Ah, that was good. Yeah. I put on the Reverend thing. account. Huh? I put the postal fees on the Reverend account. That's okay. I pushed the Reverend account through to Governor Pritzker. Mm. You don't know it yet. Goes on his food bill. He'll never find it. These nuts taste so good with this beer. His his food bill is like getting a CVS receipt. It just keeps going and going? Keeps going and going and going. Our, our bills go right in there. Whose receipt? Oh, uh, I forgot. We don't talk politics. The fact I more than one point five million more voters have all that guy. Yes, <clears throat> he's back from Florida now, so we got to lock down again. Yeah, he he drives the moped. <laughs> That's right. Ah, he. Uh, I was gonna say something to you, and I totally forgot. Oh, such a good show. We're we're so off topic. Yeah, we planned this one out too, and yet here we are. I like when it happens, though. So. Yeah, it does. I'm. I gotta think about this here. We're talking about well, the post office. You know, short term memory is the first thing to go. I used to know that. You know what the second is? I don't know what. I can't remember. Hmm. Uh, I got all night, so we could just keep going. Skyler likes it. I have God a new bless. memory. You God. talk about memories, and then my computer says you have a new memory from two years ago. What the hell was I about? It's from say? two years ago. It's not new. I can't remember. All right, we did a pre right, shot. So wait. Oh, go, go, ahead, go. Ahead. Talk about you. Did you remember? No, you go first. Okay, I'm going to try to jog your memory. We talked about Miley Cyrus, Shakira, Amy Adams, Stevie Nicks, probably Nicole Kidman. I don't know. Uh, we talked about little old ladies at the post office. We talked about. Uh, we talked about. Fact, no, we didn't talk about fat guys jumping in a pool. Oh, but I found videos from Tijuana, and maybe next week I'll show those. They're great. Okay. Not dirty like you think, but they're fun. What, like donkey fights or? No, like a water slide. And boom. Oh. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, yeah. We talk uh, about horses yet? No, we didn't. That lady gets sexier and sexier every time you show that video. You know what happens after you do that for five minutes with a horse? I don't know. What? Oh. <laughs> you get a black eye? I'm trying to think. That woman's arm, she's got to look like Popeye in one arm. You know, it's just. She got four arms like she's been down in spinach every other. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> she, her, she's got an arm like a pencil, and then she's got you know, the Popeye on the other side. <laughs> All right, ref. 
<laughs> well, God bless Brother Carlito. This was fun. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to do this again next week. How about we do it again next week? Wait, what's the date? Uh, seven days from today. Yeah, we could do next week. You actually have a busy schedule? You haven't told me? No, but we both can't do the week after on Wednesday. We're going to have to do it. No, two weeks from now. Okay. The night before Christmas Eve, me and you can't do this. Are we doing midnight mass? Close. Okay. Oh, man. My eyes are burning now because I laugh so hard, but th my nuts are salty. <sighs> <sighs> Don't touch your nuts and then your eyes. Because it's the salt gets in there. Yeah, bad. I got to go. <laughs> you learned that in high school. God bless. Uh, sorry about that, Brother Carlito. Yeah. Oh, the weekend of Christmas, which should be our Christmas special anyhow. So we, we'll we figure out when that's going to be. Anyhow, we'll be back here tonight's the ninth. We'll be back here uh, next Wednesday on the 16th. <sighs> All right. Well, hey, thanks for joining us all. Uh, God bless you. Oh, no. Ray Oakley will be back. He's let me clear clarify this. Today is December 9th. Uh two days after a day that will live in infamy, plus many years. We will be back next Wednesday, December 16th. Same rev time, same rev channel. And then from there we'll tell you what comes after that. So we'll see you a week from tonight. If not before, but so check, you got to check in every day on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Snap, Trit, uh, Tick, Tick, all them things. Periscope. Oh. Periscope. Got to look around. We'll be around, but definitely here next Wednesday night, if not before. And then we'll see you guys. God bless. I hope that you uh, have mm -hmm. a great week. Stay negative. Hey, the vaccine's coming soon. Don't go out being silly. Stay negative. Think positive. And you have one for me. Because I'm going to have one for each one of you in my crown royal glass. Came free with this. And I don't have to wash it because it came with two of them. Until next time. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Fuck this shit. I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here.